Mm. We'll see. Sounds good. Yeah. Bob, your sermon yesterday was terrific. Thanks for the comment. You're welcome. It was, it was good to be there. Yeah. Well, we're still talking about it. <laughs> um, to do it. I know we have one request for how to move emails into folders through AOL. And another question was, um, how can you get the caps lock button working again? when it's not working when you press it and it doesn't glow so um do go one or it. the other what go for it okay so the caps lock I did some googling and it appears that um the driver is out of date on the keyboard so there's a few steps you can go through to turn that driver on. I don't know if it's going to be too much work for someone who's not so tech savvy. I don't know. Excuse I, me, are you trying, what are you doing to the caps lock? I, I didn't hear that beginning part. Do you know what the caps lock button is? Well, it's right here next to my pinky finger, right? Right. And if you press it, it glows or it should glow. Yes, there's a little glow light. is a strong word. There's a little speck of light. Yes. And that tells you that it's on. Right. So when you go and type, it's all capitalized. Right. But if you push it again, it should make everything lowercase. So um so there um I can send out a link, but it looks like you have to go into the control settings and update um, a driver. Doesn't seem hard, but depending on the person, you might need to hold hold their hands um, and do it for them. There's also I found a little video that said that you can turn on a noise so that if you accidentally type press it when you're not paying attention, it will make a noise on your computer. Oh, that's so we'll, um, <laughs> you know, notify you, hey, you accidentally bumped this and you might not. So if it's not the driver, it's the like actual light has gone off and, you know, there's the light switch or whatever it is no longer glows. Um, you can do that as well. Um, and that's under settings as well. If you want to, if somebody wants to screen share a PC, since this is a PC thing, um, I'm guessing, but we can show you how to do that. Or I can send the, I can email you guys the instructions as well. Yeah, send the link. Okay, I'll send, send the links. Two interesting tidbits. So if you want being notified every time you accidentally bump that thing. Um, might be good to have, but I, I don't know if you guys have heard, heard uh, email etiquette when it comes to cap locks um, or not. No. Um, so if you write all in caps, mm. um, especially the younger generations are going to read it as you're yelling that information to them. So it's not a way to like bold that information or make it, you know, more important, which I know some people, that's how they use cap locks, but younger generations will read that like, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> so <laughs> if you're trying to just make a point bolder, make that font bold or italicized, not all caps, but that's one email etiquette that I, I not just, everybody knows. I did that last night. Actually, I almost never do. I did it last night. Now I'll never do it again. I mean, some people won't take offense, and you know, I'll read it and be like, "Oh, they they mean bold," but you know, it, mm -hmm. if you know the audience. But some people may do it because they figure the font is too small. And I will say on this new M1 thingy, I haven't figured out how to make the font bigger and stay bigger for email. 
in I'm, Mac mail or Spark or both? Well, I would probably have to say Mac mail, but it could be both. You the, other day, the other day, Lynn, I couldn't get my Gmail until I went into Chrome and signed into Chrome again to get my e Gmail and then it showed up. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to get rid of, of Google Mail. I want to go back to Gmail. <laughs> um, yeah, you should be able to do that. That shouldn't be too hard to do. I don't know. I, I'll Google it and work on it. Um, but you can also change the size of your screens and things like that if you want to make the font bigger on your... Right. And you can do that for your phone, too, if you want to make displays bigger, um, which can be done. So... Um, is, it, is there a way to make um, bold or italics on your cell phone for text messages? That's when I use caps because I didn't find a way to do bold or italics. Yeah, I have not done bold on text messages. That's when I add emojis. <laughs> yeah. Pick, again, it's a generational thing, I think. Pick, right. Picking the right font has a lot to do with it, too. Some mm -hmm. fonts are bold and some are kind of wimpy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can't change the font in text messages. I think Androids, you can change fonts a little easier. Oh, so. really? I didn't... Yes, I Stephen, am I making that up? You can change the display fonts and things, but I think it comes in on other people's phones, the generic font, but I think you can stylize your font on your phone as different fonts. I could be wrong. I don't well, have an Android, so I can't and, say. And using emojis on the cell phone, you, it doesn't, in the computer, it tells you what that face is supposed to mean, but it doesn't on the cell phone. And I sometimes think, well, what I think it means might not be what they're gonna think it means. <laughs> The nice thing is emojis, you can pretty much the literal expression on the face is typically what it means. Um, although the Gen Z generation um, has taken it to a new level of um, emoji use. I found this really interesting. Like my generation was the first one to ever use emojis. Uh, and it, when we used them in email, we typed out all the characteristics like the colon and the um, parentheses yeah. to make a smiley face. You had to like be very literal in your emoji use. So when the emojis that we now know with the smiley faces came into existence, we were very literal. We just took what we had been typing and <laughs> clicked the one button instead. And now, you know, the generation after went, okay, we already know how to do the literal use. And that's what the millennials taught everyone older than them how to do. We're going to take it to another level and do some like um, sarcastic type emoji stuff. Uh, the example I saw in the article was there's an emoji uh, laugh out loud where like tears of joy, the, um, um, I can, pull it up, but. Bob Bell just had it on his screen. Oh. Well, you're almost a cyber psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there there you go, Ann. Thank you. That, <laughs> tears of joy. Yeah. What am I tears looking at? Um, but the, the, the oh. next, the Gen Zers, instead of using that emoji, um, will use a skull face. Like I'm literally dying. You're making me literally uh, die. Huh. Um, but it's the skull icon, which I don't think is in the reactions. Um, no. Oh, actually, all of them are here. Hold on. Let me find it. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't want to work that hard with emoji use. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through all those. Is this the one? Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Can everybody 
I can't see it. I can't see it. It disappeared. Hold on. Here it is. It's online. I don't see it. I don't see it. On the corner? No. Nope. Nope. I see your face. That's lovely. <laughs> okay, let me. Can we use up. you as an emoji? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to have the most recent download of Zoom to it must see those? Be. I'm pulling it up now um, on the internet, but. Um, Do people use them on phones. Do people use them on desktops? I do. Mm -hmm. I, I am emojiless. This, this is the never emoji. Used Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh, right. I see that and I'm like, you're dead. <laughs> but yeah. that's, that's not sweet dreams material. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, even but, the ones with the tongue out, sticking out to me are confusing. I mean, I know one is supposed to be the good food or something, but the rest of them, you know, I'm scared of using. Hey, how, how did you get into the emojis again? Is it through, would I do it through Word or? Steven, is there a shortcut on the keyboard for PCs? For emojis? Yes. Uh, not on mine. Is there a long cut? Is there a, a different way? Um. So remember, oh, okay, I know what you're saying. Cuts a few years or a few weeks ago, no, years ago, a few years ago. <laughs> um, so um, if you press control, command and space bar, you're going to get the emoji pop up and then you can pop them in. So if you want to hold down uh, control, shift and space bar, if you're a piece or if you're a Mac user, it's command, shift and space bar. But um, control shift space bar. So try that when you're. I just did it and I got a big nada. Nada? Or I can't see it. So this is in a body of an email, Lynn? It should be in an embody of an email. It should be a pop up that comes up. Hmm. Um, so you get control again. Oh, that's on a Mac. I'm sorry, guys. I'm on Windows 10. So on a Mac, it's command control space bar. On a PC, it's um, with the Windows key plus the period. Oh. No, I got the emojis with the. Oh, uh, yeah. There it is. is. Yep. Windows key. Where's the Windows key? That's the. The one with the four squares on it. Okay. Uh -huh. Next to the control key. Okay. And the period. Not for me. Me either. I have oh, windows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I got uh, control shift and space bar with windows. Oh, yeah, it did. Cool. Oh, cool. So everybody got it? No. Um, yeah, but it does, they don't display here on the on my Zoom square. No, no. Yeah. It, okay. This would oh, be okay. for Word, for emails, for yeah. those kind I, of things. My email has the emojis on it. Oh, they're not as many or as good as the one on my phone, but they're there if I want them. Okay. Con so Windows and period. Yes. Okay, now would those be the ones that popped up when we just did that? Would that be usable then in your email or on the in a Word document or whatever you're doing? Yes. Oh, cool, because there's some neat new ones in there. You should be able to either drag them over or copy them and paste okay. them. Okay. You have to play. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Man, the things you learn here. Yeah, right. <laughs> really <laughs> important things. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
There are also a couple of apps I'm just looking at because I just said emojis for iPhone that you can emoji me animated faces and bitmoji. You can design your own emoji to look like you and um, you can get them to like go like this. And, and that's what Don needs, Ann, for voting. <laughs> oh, yeah, for Sunday. <laughs> um, I like the Bitmoji app where you create your own and then it creates entertaining um, characters for you to um, play with. I'm trying to think of um, where, where I can pull some up that I have, for example, somewhere. But um, they are entertaining. You just want to be sure if you add the Bitmoji app on your phone to be sure to put clothes on your Bitmoji. <laughs> um, Jerry McShade, uh, I taught him the Bitmoji, but he didn't put any clothes on his <laughs> avatar. <laughs> I was like, oh, Jerry, you need to put clothes on. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Dear. Well, yeah, but they want to know all your background information to do that. You know, you're Mm. Give them your first kid and, and your birth date and your social security number and all not that, but a lot of stuff. I, I started to do that and I thought, you know, I don't want to give them all that information. Mm. So I, yeah, without it. Yes. Different people. Yeah. Right. Well, Different. like, and I think I said that to you and you said, well, you could just, I had said, well, I was just going to use a bogus birth date. And then you made the point that I better make sure I remember what bogus date I used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done that before, though. <laughs> I like. I have to go, but happy birthday, Lynn! Good Thank to you. See you Good all. To see you. Bye, Bye. 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 Keep learning. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, so, how, yeah. do I, how do I get back to you? Uh, do you see the little blue icon at the bottom of your screen right. with the? Yeah. logo the zoom logo click on that and we should come back you're still with me i see you yeah oh, oh i see <laughs> a big white square a white square yeah I, I see nada nothing so you see nothing on your screen at all no i see your meeting has been launched don't <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you just need to click the Zoom logo again and it will pop up. I think you're seeing the browser, Internet Explorer. It, it's telling you you launched the meeting. Yeah, if you can I close out launch, of that. If I hit launch again, okay, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Bug. Yes. I'm trying to think that something that comes up. Um, when I'm doing stuff and it says your, what is it, is active, um, th th they need cookies. I think it's the cookie thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they make you feel really guilty. And I'm not sure what to feel guilty about. Am I supposed to feel guilty because I use an ad blocker or that's what it is, or I don't use an ad blocker. What am I it, supposed to do? Yeah, some websites make you feel like you're a bad guy, like newspapers. Like, why don't you su start supporting our newspaper because, or what, turn off your ad blocker. What am I supposed to do with that? You can pause your ad blocker for that site. Do you know how to do that? No. Do you want to screen share your computer and we can go through it together? Since it's your birthday, yes, I'll do it. <laughs> um, I'll let you do anything today. <laughs> Whoa. Screen share. I feel like that's too much power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you remember how to screen share? I just hit screen, screen share. Share. And then share again. Yep. Oh, here it comes. Cool. So, um, do you know of a site that you can think of that makes you feel guilty about? Um, let, let me sum it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. 
So we'll practice on uh, the Zoom website that you're currently on, okay? Okay. Do you see at the top of your screen, our faces might be blocking it. Over on the right-hand side, um, you've got some little icons at the top of your bar. Right, so, A, B, P, one, yeah, yep. A, right. Yep, your ad blocker is the first one. It's the little stop sign. Yeah, ABP, right. Yeah, ABP. Okay. Uh, okay. Click, click on that stop sign. <sighs> okay, ABP ad block plus mm -hmm. block ads on this website. Yep. So do you see there's a little blue button where it says block ads? Um, on the right hand I, side, it yeah. says this website and then this page. Right. You can click on those blue dots and we'll stop it. If you press the blue circle on the, the first blue circle, it's going to turn off for this whole website. So if, for example, you go to the Wall Street Journal and <laughs> it wants you to stop it um, for that whole website. So if you, I would suggest turning it, ads off for that entire website because um, you'll probably want to read multiple articles on that website. Let me, let me go back. I don't even know what I want to do. Is it, what do you do? Do you, should I, should I be ad, blocking ads or should I not be blocking ads? You want to block ads unless there's a reason you want to pause it on a website. Like a newspaper won't allow you to read the article or you can't view content of something that you want to read. Um, but if you go to a website that you're, you don't trust, you want to keep that on like Facebook is, and things like is that. Is it base case to have an ad blocker on? Is that yeah, you mean? always want a default ad blocker on. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me go back again. Should I turn them off or not? You, I would only turn it off if there's a reason you have to turn it off. Okay. Um, sometimes there's a website like to how to solve a computer problem. If you Google how do I add bit mo or uh, emojis to Word documents? Uh, there might be a website where you need you have they have step by instructions, but they want you to pause the ad or pause ads on that site to get that information. I would just pause it on that one page of the website because you're never going to go back to that website probably. Um, but for you know, a newspaper, you would probably want to pause the ads all across that entire website. Am I making any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, in the first example, you would do just this page. You would hit the second blue dot where the, if it was a newspaper type thing, you would press the first one where it's that entire website. Okay. But and it looks in the like in the past you have blocked uh, um, almost 147 or 45 uh, thousand email or ads. Excuse me. Um, there are no ads on this particular page you're on, but um, that's okay. always fun trivia to see. Are you saying I I blocked? I as blocked long as you've had this ad blocker on your website. That that one hundred and seventy four thousand is how many ads you've blocked. Is there anything that you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a lot I don't know. Why? Okay. But there's no ads there's on this particular page. So I see it now. Yeah. So it's fun sometimes to click on that little stop sign and yeah. see that kind of stuff. Okay, like right, I click this right here, right? Yeah, so right, if you click that, you're going to turn off um, ad blocks on this particular site for Zoom. Just for this time, mm -hmm. not forever. 
uh, if you just want to do this this one time, you would click the second button, okay. this page. Okay, so now I clicked it. Now I blocked off ads on Zoom all the time. You didn't, I think it needs to go from the right side of that gray bar to the left. So try clicking it again or dragging it. It might be a drag. Yeah, it says inspect and control shift. It should be a left click. Hmm. Just click on the left part of the slide and it'll- Oh, work. there you go. Do you see how it's gray? That means it's off. Okay. Now it says re refresh this page. Yep. So if you were on a website that did, had ads on it, it will ask you to refresh it before so you can get the content that was missing. Okay. So, you know, if you're reading the Philadelphia Inquirer, that would be a page you'd have to then refresh. Um, Is there any way that, you know how you want to read something and they hit it with a guilt thing that, no, you can't read it if you're not a, a member? Mm -hmm. um, is there any way you can get around that? Um, I don't remember, okay. No, you'd have to, if it's, uh, you need a subscription to read this article. Right. You'd have to become a, um, you'd have to buy a subscription or membership. Oh. Um, if it's something like a one-off that you'd never go back to that small little newspaper, there might be a trial period where you can sign up for two weeks, mm -hmm. read the one article and then turn it off. But if it's, a bigger newspaper, you probably couldn't do that. Some, Lynn, sometimes I found if I Google the author, mm. it'll show up and I can read it. Oh, on like their blog or something? Yeah, it's on their blog or it's on a, and somebody, somebody else has picked it up. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I know I like um, uh, a dude um, who sends a morning email um, with uh, his new story, his article of the day, uh, it's called mm -hmm. Popular Information. So I, but then he, you know, he'll be like, oh, this was featured on CNN or, you know, Washington Post or whatever. <laughs> be all excited. <laughs> but, who, who does this? Uh, it's a, it, it's, um, and it's Judd, I forget his last name, but he calls it his popular information. I can send you a link to him. I, I enjoy his articles. It's typically something, um, he'll typically write something and then they'll see it in the like main news like two or three days later. Is that a way for me to really impress people? You could. Okay. I don't think a lot of I people need, know who he is though. I need help, so, okay. While we're on Dan's website, yeah. I'm envious of him. How did he get a purple arrow cursor? Good question. You can go to control is, settings. Would yeah. you like to screen share your computer and we can walk through the steps? It's not that important. <laughs> if you go to the control panel, um, I'd have to look at the control panel to see exactly what it is. Okay. But I, it, under display or view, you can change different settings. You can I'm change. Sure Stephen did it. Yeah, I think Stephen helped. I did it too. One okay. day to do it. You can I'll change around it with it. from do it. white to dark mode. I have mine set for dark mode because it's easier to read for your eyes. Um, so you could change the cursor of the mouse, the size of the mouse. If you want to make this mouse three times bigger, you could do that. You can make the font bigger on your display. Okay. Why I think that's point? under accessibility. So, and under accessibility, you can also do the noise anytime you press the caps lock. Um, For me, it was settings and then devices. Under devices, it's Bluetooth and other devices, and you just look for mouse. Once you click on mouse, all the options come up, the size and the color and the speed and all of that. 
I think we should change it. We sh we have no place for for cursor envy here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll work on that. That's your homework for this week. <laughs> Anything else you have questions with Dan before we stop sh um, sharing your screen? Not now. I think I've taken enough attention. You're more than welcome to take as much attention as you. Well, you weren't on last week, so you've got a week in the bank. Uh -huh. I don't know <laughs> work that way. Boy, the rules just keep changing, man. <laughs> Lynn, I was having a little problem this week, which magically has disappeared, of course, now that I want to show it to you. But um, my screen was getting darker. It wasn't as bright as it used to be. So I click on start, I go to settings, I go to system because I wanna get display. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that now. And then, um, so the first thing that comes up for display is brightness and color. Mm -hmm. And it was already, the slide was all the way up as high as it could go. Hmm. Was there something else? Like, like I said, now it seems fine, but yeah. I began to wonder if it was the, the computer or something wrong with my brain. Was I having a stroke or something? Um, but is there any other step after that to brighten the screen? That's that's where I would have gone to check yeah. first. Stephen, do you have any other ideas as a PC user? You're muted. Is it a, a laptop that you're using? Yes. Sometimes. Uh, based on your power settings, the screen will go dimmer when the battery's low. I pretty much always have it plugged in. Oh, okay. Oh. And when it's not plugged in for a very limited amount of time. So, you know, it's always at full power. Hmm. But like I said, it's, it's weird. It's corrected. It's like I had a couple of problems with my my cell phone uh, the last couple of weeks when I wasn't able to be with you and it's not happening all the time. So I, mm. I mean, I, I did, I, I, I lose Wi-Fi when I'm out and about, like I go to Longwood Gardens and I did read recently, somebody was complaining on next door that they don't have good Wi-Fi. You keep losing connection, but um, even at home, I would, be on my cell phone with someone and and I'd notice that that would happen. I just lose the Wi-Fi. Hmm. Um, and it comes back, but it's happening more and more and the battery's going down quicker. I'm thinking it's probably time to start hunting for a new phone. How old's your computer? Um, my laptop is, well, I'd have to look it up. I wanna say it's probably four years old, five years, four, four years old, but it's a, it's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. because it was recommended by a guy who fixes computers, Acer, mm -hmm. um, Acer, Acer Aspire 5, mm -hmm. but he recommended um, to me nice. and, and where to get it and all of that. But my cell phone is just a little track phone mm -hmm. that I keep getting an updated one every, I don't know, three, four years. But uh, when something happens, I don't, I don't have anybody to ask what to do. <laughs> You know, it's like you can go to a, a store for other phones and they can mm -hmm. help. But I think I finally came up with a solution. And I, I mentioned this before that I had a problem if my son was sending me um, videos of my grandson, mm -hmm. sometimes I couldn't open them and that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here is why I could find out a different way to send it to me and then I could open it. But um, I thought, well, he ha he doesn't have an iPhone, but he has a pretty good phone. And I thought, why don't I take him shopping with me and he can pick out his phone and, and get me a good deal. And then if something happens, I can ask him rather than bother you with tiny mm -hmm. little things all the time. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy to, you know, bounce ideas too. But. I bother her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who else here? Just curiosity. Does everyone have a laptop here? Who, who has a, I'm sorry, I didn't remove that. Who has a desktop? Anyone? Not anymore. Not a workable one. I do. I do at work. Yeah. 
Yeah. I have a desktop. Jean has a laptop. Mm -hmm. We have an ancient desktop. I have both. Yeah, there are pros and cons to both. If I were going to get, I'm not going to right now get another computer. There's pressure on me to get a laptop. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of viewed as regressive because I have a desktop. Why should I feel that way? I don't get it. What's wrong with me having a desktop? There's Not no, there's no, yeah. Some of God's favorites have desktops. Well, thank you. Yeah. How <laughs> the other people go away then? I don't know why I should have to feel. Do you feel the need to take a computer with you if you travel? The only place I travel is to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would use a tablet then. <laughs> um, um, no, I'm serious. I don't. Then there's absolutely no reason for you to have a laptop. Besides mm -hmm. that, my lap is not as um, agile as it used to be. I mm -hmm. mean, things. You know? And you're looking down at a laptop um, more than looking up. And you can have a bigger screen with a desktop, yep. more space. So I think for you, there is no reason to do a laptop. Uh -huh. You know, there might be a perk of getting a phone, a smartphone or a tablet to do other little things around. But for you, I think a desktop makes the most sense. You should not feel pressured to. Please yeah. remember that I may be. Now I'm not telling you who I'm getting this sort of suggestions from. Okay, you don't know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> what are you left? So just in case if it comes up, if you need backup, you know. You've got us on standby. Yeah. I need, I yeah. need all, I need all nine boxes. <laughs> and I have a question. Yeah, I was, I was when we were looking at emojis, and I went to reactions. I didn't know what the red check, you know, red. I mean, green check, red X, and backspace fast, and and so now it's on. Yes, mm -hmm. how do I get rid of that? Because I. Can't if you click other. it again, maybe, but I think it after a few minutes goes away. There it goes. No, you click it again because I had speed up on there and I didn't know what I was speeding up. <laughs> I think I think the the point is, you know, if you're in a like group meeting and the meeting is slow oh, moving you're telling the in the corporate in the corporate world, <laughs> you know, if you have a dry speaker. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what that's for. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. Hmm. But I think your interpretation is right on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Nancy, how's your phone holding up? Did well, you I was just gonna it? say, I was just gonna say to Betty Ann, if you didn't get a chance to watch last week's, go ahead because they we discussed my phone problems and whether I should get a new one and what kind. Um it's still well, first of all. I guess I can leave it plugged in all the time, except when I need to go someplace. And so that's okay. <laughs> it has still gone, like it'll get to 60, if it's unplugged, it'll get to 50% and all of a sudden I'll get the beep that it's now 3% and whatever. Um, but I haven't done any more about getting a new one because I'll wait. But I did find out my grandson says that he can open, that you can open the back of it. So I should be able to replace the battery. However, my grandson opens a lot of things that don't go back together. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, I'm going to check into that before I try to let him open it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I, I had didn't have a chance to, I didn't have a chance to look at that link yet, but I said, wouldn't you know, the one I missed, that's what they were talking about. So um, I will put that out. But, but actually, my daughter does have the, the um, iPhone 8. And they can't remember if she got a refurbished one or if it was a, a um, new one. Because I know one of them she'd gotten was refurbished and they couldn't remember if it was that one or if it was a previous phone. Mm. So yeah. anyway, so I still will keep that information 
and mm -hmm. I loved your um, talking about why iPhone, why um, Apple is better than you know, iPhones are better than Androids, and just the way that they're one manufacturer for all the stuff. So mm -hmm. I could be thinking about becoming one of you guys. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it's hard to go from paying $79 for a new phone that already has thousands of texts built into it and and how many times you can call and you only have to maybe get data once a year to then go for the price of an iPhone. It's right. It's, it's taking me a while to mm -hmm. take that. Oh, right. In. And that's what I had told them that my Android phone, which is not a track phone, because I did have a track phone, but it's an Android phone that was only $100. Um, and they pointed out that I can get a refurbished iPhone 8 for $165 and I'll oh. have all this much better stuff. So I'm looking into that. But the, but like, and Lynn made this good point. Okay, it's refurbished. Why did someone else get rid of it? You know, is it? Oh, they upgraded. They upgraded probably. Yeah, upgraded. Hopefully. Like me, who gets well, my like, phone every I like year. the way Lynn gets her phone. She just keeps paying and gets a new phone every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just pay the you know monthly lease, but I return it after a year and it's perfectly fine. So, it, return it to Apple and they recycle it. Um, you know, there's there's no sense paying for a lot of things you don't use. Mm -hmm. People do that frequently. Like mm -hmm. some of you, you and Stephen, you use all your. I when I buy stuff, I pretty much learn to use the really nice options just about time the thing goes out of fashion and they start doing it again. I mean, I yeah. don't, yeah. there's no sense paying for options I'm not using. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're in a different world than I am. Right. And different needs. You say that with love, right? I do. <laughs> I spend a lot more time on technology than you do. But um, did we have another question or things? Or did, am what I going to ask when you had? Did we cover that? You came out and you said you had two things. We we have a, a question. Karen had a question about moving emails to folders. Um, it was, from, it was from Realm. Oh, Realm. Did mm -hmm. you get my email yesterday? No. Huh. I got yeah. your one about uh, you signed me up for one of the services. I got that, but I didn't get anything about today. Oh, that was Planning Center. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to play with that. I don't know if you guys want to play with that now or. Okay. What? Play with what? Realm or? realm and well, movie mails um karen do you want to share your screen would you be willing to do that so i get um, yeah uh zoom sh share screen uh in our weekly email today we're going to we're going to suggest uh going to realm and i added a prof or i added an option you could say if you're vaccinated or not uh, so we have some idea of how, what the percentage of the congregation is vaccinated. We don't want to, you know, ask that, but if you're willing to share that, it, I think it would make us feel better. Um, but I did a, I did a video that kind of shows you through that, but if we're in realm anyway, we can show when you I that. need I, I need help. Oh. When oh. I got to share screen, it went to select a window or application that you want to share. Yeah. It should be the first one that says screen that's already highlighted. <coughs> there's a blue share button. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. And, <laughs> um, so if you want to go to my favorites for you. Yes, go to your favorites. We added it as a favorite for you yesterday. But Lynn, we as as members can't see everybody in the congregation, right? If they've said, don't let me 
Be yeah, safe. if they chose the setting like, hey, I don't want to share my contact and we can go through and show you how to change that as well. So um, Karen, go up to your, your face on the top corner. Okay. And click that. Okay. And I don't know what you guys want to do first. Do you want to um, look at your email stuff or do you want to add your COVID information? Let's do COVID. Okay. Go to my profile. It, our faces might be over top of it. It's under your photo of Karen. You might have to drag our oh, face yes. somewhere oh. else. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so what you're going to do is go to edit profile. And if you ever need to change your contact information for the church, you can do that here for us. Um, and if you go to personal information, and then you have to let Barbara, I know you did this, it will just be automatically updated. And if you scroll down, you can add allergies if you want, but you you know don't have to. Um, but. Do most oh, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. It's not there. I'm going to have to mm -hmm. add that. That's interesting. Okay. Good to know. I need to update that before the email goes out. Um, there should be a option. Let me do that real quick. Um, so that um, we can do that. Um, oh, system settings, general settings, um, COVID vaccine, edit. Um, okay, okay. I was at something, where, where'd you put that in? Under? Under personal information. Okay. Um, uh, Karen, do you want to refresh your page? Uh, do that. Okay. Over here. Yep. And then go back to personal information. Yeah. Hmm. It should be there. Maybe it's up higher. No. Maybe it just hasn't updated. Um, let me check my settings. Maybe it's under, it shouldn't be under contact information. Oh, Rome wished me happy birthday. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so go on your birthday to Rome. It will. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's under personal information. So, parenthetically, we're doing a men's group based. We're studying Revelation, and, and everyone on last night was vaccinated. So, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll come back to that. But if you wanted to ch update your photo, if you um, go back to her picture at the, if you go to contact information um, or save, it will, yeah, hit save. It should get you back out. Maybe it will just behave itself eventually. If you go over your face, you could upload a different photo for you. So if you ever want to update your photo, you can mm -hmm. do that. Right. Um, how do you want to go back to edit profile and we'll see if it behave it's uploaded it fixed itself personal information please work up oh, there like karen how did you, karen how do you have a photo in there where do you get a photo if you have if you took a photo with the church Three. back in 2015 or 2016 with life touch you'll have a um 
email. As I look younger. Oh, oh, uh, can you do update email account? Maybe that's what your issue is. I don't know if it is, but try it. Do you see the little blue thing that says update account email? Um, nope, that's not it. Okay, cancel. Worth a try. <laughs> but Poor Karen doesn't get my emails every week. Oh, but is she in personal information now? She's not in personal information. She's in regular profile. Mm -hmm. She needs to go up to the top and do. I was wondering if you were finished. No. Okay. So what? Anyway. Sorry, sorry, Jean. <laughs> Uh, scroll down, maybe? No, okay, I'm going to have to figure that out because I'm going to get massive emails today going, you told us to do this, but it's not there. Uh-oh. Or <laughs> maybe, well, maybe they'll say it, happy birthday and you'll get lots of happy birthday emails. Lynn. Yeah, in the video I did, I was like, it is my birthday. Um, Lynn? Yeah. Want to have someone else screen share and see if it comes up in theirs? Maybe. But let's, do you want to look at your emails and make, see if we can figure out your email thing while we're here? My um, minutes from, oh, sugar. <clears throat> oh, uh, you're not going to be able to move things to your email in Realm. You can just keep it in the thing, unless you get email notifications from the deacons. Okay. You get the email notification saying that new minutes. Once have. in a while, once in a while. Yeah. If you get that, you can move it to a folder in your email, but there's not a way to, unless you download download the minutes or agendas and save it to a folder, which you could do. Out of Realm? Yeah. Okay. Nah. If you want to do that, we can show you how to do That's that. Okay. That's okay. I'll just leave them in Realm. Um, we can move them in your emails too, if you want to do that. Uh, does somebody else want to try going in Rome and see if uh, we can figure out I, if yours works and poor Karen's just having a bad I'm bad realmless. Day. You're I realmless? I'd like to make more use of realm, so yes. Uh, let me go to your profile and invite you. Oh, there you are. You have no photo, Dan. We need to get a photo mm -hmm. of you in here. I know. I'm not, um, I'm, I'm kind of laid back, you know. That's okay. People don't take, have you ever noticed when you're in a crowd, people take all sorts of pictures of little kids, but people don't stop and take pictures of older men very often. No. <laughs> I've got a brother-in-law who needed space on his camera so he, to take pictures of kids so he deleted me you know so uh, if i saw you in public dan i'd take a photo of you oh you just just blowing my skirt up no no do you want to share your screen dan and we can yes. show you how to create a realm account and i just sent you an email <laughs> inviting okay. you to join right. realm okay I should have a realm account. It appears you do not. Okay. I went to your profile to see. Do you know how to go oh, share? Share the screen. Yeah. And then if you want to go up to the top where the address bar. Or no, go to your email, excuse me. Yep, go to your email. Oh. And there should be a new email from me at the top. You don't like Bob's uh, clock? Is that what that is? I thought it was Bob's, but maybe it's someone else's. Okay. It's, it's mine. 
You mean the email here? Do you want to no, know? Go up to the top of your email. I just sent it like two seconds or a minute or two ago. This one right here? Uh, Ooh, maybe. Up. Yes. Sign into, no, click that. Double click. Um, so, um, so click that blue link down that says uh, create an account. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Over to the right. In the body of the email. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, here I see. I've uh, already uh, downloaded the Realm Connect. Uh, the blue link right above that paragraph. Click that blue link. Okay. And it's going to ask you to create a password and it, it wants you to create a really intense password. You need not eight a, characters. Not another password. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Upper and lower case numbers and symbols. A really intense one. Yeah, and you can't do sequential like ABC or one, two, three. Can I use my grandmother again or? Maybe. Capitalize her name or whatever you want to make it. Okay. You, well, who's going to steal my... Seriously, if you're going to start a life of crime, why would anyone steal my realm? There's no reason. There isn't. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Um. While he's doing that, you yeah. two people using the same email can't do a Realm account. Is that correct? Yes, we have not figured a way to do that. Okay, so that's why Gene doesn't have one. We need to create a second spam account for you guys, so you could have two. <laughs> do you guys have a spam email account that you use? No. No. I find it really useful. Lynn, I'm on Realm and I'm on my iPad on Realm. Mm -hmm. And under personal information, the only thing there is my birthday. Hmm. If you hit edit. Uh, what? Can you, did you hit edit? No, not yet. Hold on. I got, I got to mute myself. Just a second. I got to take this call. Dan, you still need some more characters. There's I'm doing it. It still doesn't like it. There's a warning symbol. Add an exclamation mark or something. Oh. Did you have upper and lower case? Um, yeah, wait, assemble. Uh, let me see. Oh, there you go. It likes it. Now he has to remember it. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> uh, Did I not like it? I'm back and I'm looking for edit. Hmm. Think Okay, and scroll down, Dan. Register? Yep. Okay. I better write it down. Yep, you write it down. I'm going to leave you all. It was good seeing you, Bob. 
All right. See you, Bob. Um, I got to see you. Take care. I did get a question from Marty Bonds today asking about Chautauqua, if it's worth going this year. Would you say yes, or would you still be hesitant for a first time person to go to Chautauqua this year? What do you think? I don't know. I'm torn. I had recommended a few people that can wait a year, wait till it's more real. Yeah. But what's your one one or two of them? What decide your, to go anyway? What's yeah. your concern? What do you mean more? I, well, what? they're not ta they're not taking the tours to Falconer anymore. No, hmm. oh. that's that, that's where Dan came from. Um, it's limited attendance because of uh, the virus. The, the, the program's going to be a little more not as robust because of the COVID, right? Yeah. And New York, New York state laws. Yeah, I'd say wait a year. Yeah, come week eight and she'll see you. Yeah. All right. Hi, well, I'm, I'm on a Zoom at noon with the president of the institution. He's going to update us on what's going on. So. Oh, I look forward to a report. I'll give you a report. Over and out. Okay. Okay, so Bye. Lynn, on yeah. my on my iPad, I can edit my personal contact information, but on, there's no way to on personal information. The only thing there is birthday, and there's a little pencil over at the right of my birthday to say edit, but I don't want to change the date. I, but they might let you do more options. Uh, Dan, did you write down your password? No, there are no more options. Yeah, I did. Do you want to go back to your email, Dan? Okay. I'm going to have to look at Realm on my iPad. Right. I don't know if I have it on my iPad. Well, because I didn't have a computer, but I don't know. I, the Realm app, will it work on my M1? I would think so. Okay, I'll try and download it. So you should have a new email for me, Dan, in your email. Okay. <laughs> Talk about multitasking here. Well, yeah. <laughs> Make my head hurt. Um, okay, there's some from you. Yeah, I don't see a way to do that advanced stuff. I don't think they're. Um, I don't think the app's designed well. <laughs> um, can you scroll up to the top? Uh, Kmart, do you, is, does Kmart still exist? I don't know. Online, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dad's first job. Um, okay, I, I, you should be on here somewhere. Yes, uh, click Outlook or Inbox, hopefully. Here. It won't be my email, it'll be from realm i don't know what the exact email address is okay then I won't just keep going down there. type in westminster he's yelling at us it's all capitals <laughs> <laughs> nope none of that Hmm. Uh, if you click Outlook or Inbox to the right or to the left, excuse me, to the left. <laughs> click out, wait, what, put Inbox? Yeah, click Inbox. Uh, left click Inbox. Um, oh, there it is. 11.05, the first one. Okay, right click it? Uh, left click, I think. And there's a blue link over on the body of the email. Right, right here. You click that link, yeah. Yeah, double click that. Great, it's loading, loading. And you're going to have to type in that crazy password again. 
Okay. Um, and then sign in when you're done. Take it. Yep. And then it wants you to verify your birth date. Just the month and the day. You don't have to tell them your year. Well, there's no app for the M1 for on Realm, and I went online to the website mm. and I can sign in, but there's no place on there that I can do any, and it certainly doesn't have a thing about shots, it just has my profile. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think you have to go on the browser and look at it there. Yeah. But there's no way to edit it, and, and, it, and if there is, there's no... Ask, asking about a, sh about a vaccine. <laughs> okay. So Dan, you're going to go to where it says Dan at the top right corner? Um, it says the, down a little, our faces might be above it. Yeah. It, it, drag, drag our faces down. Drive, drag your face down? Yeah. That's no way to treat your friends. Okay. <laughs> we aren't offended. Okay. Now I'm over here. <laughs> so you can get rid of that QR code. There should be an X on the right corner. Yeah. Click that. <clears throat> you see where it says Dan? Over to the right. Uh, Next to the eyeglass. And the question mark. Okay. Yeah, I feel pressure. What? To the right and down. Can you see? Okay, here, there's other bookmarks. Really it's left. right below that. Right below that is my picture and then generally into it. Emerson.com. Do you see D A N or no what they what mine doesn't have it's got my email address in there. General Dan to Emerson.com. Click that, I guess. Nobody else is done. Oh now pinned it. No, I, we don't see that. Um. So if you go to the right, you don't see anything. Do you see where it says search? Yeah. Over to the right. Uh, like news. Mm -hmm. Go to the right. Wait, start video, remove pin. <clears throat> this is stuff on Rich Berkheimer. Yep, he the your since you're part of a gathering of men, you're getting all of the information that he's sending about gathering of men. Okay. Um, over to the right, you should see your name, maybe. Uh, maybe. You know, it says make now it's back. Make my audio. Stop video, remove pin, show non-video participants. 
I can just, you click where click your mouth like can you click the white where it's at, like above Rich Berkemeyer's name? Yeah, like click there. Yeah. Did the screen screen stuff go away? Now there's a uh, five pictures. Me, <coughs> you, Karen, Betty Ann, and Nancy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and do you see the blue circle with the question mark in it up in the upper right hand corner above all the white? Because your name is right next to that. Oh, uh, okay. I have me and then okay, the box with three dots. No, that's Zoom. We want you out of Zoom. We want you back on the um, browser. Um, do you see the Westminster logo on the left that says communications, news, inbox, chat? Uh, news. Uh, oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not doing so. Do you see at the top? Can you do you see where it says new Spotify or at the top, like the, the taskbar along the very top of your browser? Yeah. Or to of your computer. Do you see where it says new Spotify? I, yeah, yes, news <laughs> Spotify. Can you click on news? <clears throat> well, right click or left click? Uh, left click. You want news, not Spotify. Yeah. And then click, yeah. Nope, go back to, go back to Chrome. The one on the right. Click the little Chrome, yeah, click the Chrome icon. Yeah, click that. There you go. Do you see where it says news and then there's three little icons and then Rich Berkemeyer? Right. Over to the right hand side of that page, do you see um, a blue question mark? Um, the only we must I... be on top of them. Yeah, I think our faces are there. Can you yeah. drag our faces down, Dan? Um, all... Click on the top of us and drag us down. If you guys need to pop off, feel free. I know. Okay. Maybe grab the carrot in the bottom right hand corner of his realm window and drag it to the left to get the screen you want out from underneath the pictures. You could also minimize the browser. Do you want do you know how to minimize a a window? Use it. Hi guys, I gotta leave. So if, if we all sign out, then he'll be able to see it. Right <laughs> <laughs> or our pictures will just be bigger. Um, yeah, well, that's my fear. Do you see at the top corner, Dan, a straight line and then like a square and then an X? Don't click the X, but hit the middle one. There's a, this yeah, one. click that one. Um, can, do you see more information? Uh, yeah, I see the Westminster and the, you are screen sharing, stop share. Above that, you've got more remote control, annotate, pause. Yeah, can you drag that window that where it says above the um, ad blocker, 
Can you drag that to the left? The window above the ad blocker? Yeah. Um, go over, there's like a little plus button and then there's a little white gap. Click the white gap and drag it to the left. Keep dragging. Yeah. Or go back and click it again and drag a little more. Move it. Yeah, that moved something. Yeah, okay. Do you see where it says Dan now? Right. Click on the word Dan. Okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Click my profile. I just hit. I just, my hand hit it again. How, how did I get to that? You clicked on Dan. So it's right under your name. Okay. Oh, my right, profile. Right, my profile. Yeah. I got you. I'm sorry, my mouth, I'm taking medication, my mouth. It's a lot of stuff. It's hard when you're screen sharing because your our faces are over top. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm Karen, if you go to notification settings, maybe there's some things you want to play with in there to see if there's. Okay, so right now I got my profile, manage privacy, manage. Click on my profile. It might be a double click. There we go. Can you drag that? You remember dragging? Do you want to drag it a little to the right now? Drag which? The, the whole? The whole box. The way you moved it to the left, we want to move it to the right a little. Okay. Um, to the right, to the left. Okay. Or maximize the window. Oh, disappeared. Click, uh, click the little Chrome logo at the top again. Um, yeah, that. Click that. Okay, I'm back to this. Can you make that window, that box, you know, the, there's a line, then there's a square, and then there's an X. Can you hit that square again? Um, line, square up at the top of that window up right above your ad blocker and to the right um okay i've got here other bookmark green up, up a little do you see the square right above that above there, the puzzle piece yeah there's a s red or, further up And to the right, there's a square. Um, Just to the left of the X. Uh, here's. Um, You're looking to the right of, yeah, up, up a little. A square. Go Over to, to the, the right. Keep going to the right. Keep going. A little further and up. A little further. Is that where our pictures are? No, I don't think so. I think we're still over in the corner. There's participants, new share, pause share. You know, Should be below that. Do you Plot, stop share your screen sharing? Um, oh, right, so <laughs> I know. Right, <laughs> like an inch to your left. 
above the little puzzle piece. Um, you are almost on it. Up a little to the right. Is that where it says screen share? As invite. Oh, uh, you're looking for screen share. Can you write like just a hair above where you are? Like, okay. is there a way to click that and drag to the right? Right here? Yeah. No, higher. A little higher, like just a fraction of a centimeter. Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> I can take control of your computer. Um, Oh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to pop up window going asking if you want to let Lynn have access. You can take the whole thing forever. <laughs> <laughs> Does it um, approve? I'm going to. Did you approve? Did you get a pop up? Yeah, I approved. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay, do you see where it says edit profile, Dan? Right. Under the big DW? Right. If you click the DW, you can add a photo, but hit edit profile right now. Okay. And go to personal information. Okay, there's my name, address. Uh... Go up a little. Okay. And go to the where it says personal information, click personal information. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yay! Yay! <laughs> where? COVID. Um, under details, there's uh, something that says COVID oh, yeah. vaccine. Click yeah. that. It's a pull down, is it? Click that, yeah. And then if you scroll down a little. Uh huh. Okay. You can say if you're fully vaccinated, which I think you are. I am with. Uh, um, can you scroll the browser down a little? Actually, let me do it for you. There you go. Yeah, I'm fully vaccinated. With so the click the little box next to fully vaccinated. Okay. And then if you want to tell us what one you got, you don't have to. But I, I got the, um, what was the first one out? The Pfizer? Pfizer. I'm um, Pfizer too, Team Pfizer. You don't have to tell us that, but if you want to hit save or click Pfizer, you can. <laughs> no, nothing that prof, private in my life. And then click out, like click right there. Save. If you do save. And then save. Just click out here and then. Yep. And it should go away if you click there. Okay. And then hit save above it. Yeah. You should also be able to add add it to Patty's profile if you want. Okay. You could click on Patty Wilcox and do the same thing. Okay. Um, but if you go to manage privacy, you can say who can view your profile. If you just want staff to be able to see your contact information or if you want people in your groups like the men's group or this group of people. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't decide now. Yeah, you can choose what you want. You could say, you know, I want the tech time folks to be able to get my information, but I don't want, say, you know, the Saturday morning's Bible study or something. So, uh, but if you hover over the DW, you can add a photo if you want. But under manage privacy, you can do, um, you know, who, who can view your information. Okay, I'll do so that. something to think about, but that 
you were able to do that. I'm glad to see Realms now got that in there. So, well, yeah. thank you. Thank then, you all for your patience. I'm kind of. Oh. Kind of yeah, sick. Nancy. Uh, question about that. After you cho make your choices, you have to click out of the box and then click save. You can't just click you save. You could click save, but okay. if you want the pop out, like if you want the list of stuff to go away, you would okay. just click off it but you could just hit save okay I, the reason i was asking is when i signed up for church for sunday i didn't click out of something before i said save or whatever and apparently it didn't go because um barb said she didn't have it so i just wondered if i'd done that wrong but yeah when you register for sunday morning worship it's like a two-step process yeah, I thought I did the two steps, but obviously it didn't go through, apparently. There's a register button that sometimes people don't I hit. I did that. I don't know, but whatever. She, Fortunately, I remember that it said, if you don't get a confirmation, contact her. So I did. Yeah, there's a reason I put that there. This has everything <laughs> I'm Lynn, this has everything I'm involved in put in. Does that automatically get put in? What's involved in? This has everything I'm a member of, Daniel. Yeah. Does that automatically do that? No. We went in and said, you know, the leaders of groups, like the deacons every year will update the information, whoever's the chair of that or uh, moderator or what, whatever, um, goes in and updates that information. Okay. Um, so... Before we leave, since Chuck and I missed the happy birthday singing, can we do it again? Because I want to see what happens when everybody sings at once. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, here we go. <laughs> happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lenny. Happy birthday to you. You should also sing to Chuck. He has his birthday this weekend. Oh, hmm. happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. you. Nobody wants to sing to you, Chuck. Happy birthday, Chuck. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. That's good. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, Lynn. And yep. Thank you. Yeah. Not yeah. exactly Thank the Mormon you. Tabernacle Choir, but <laughs> it was a Westminster Press Choir. What do you yeah. We have a couple birthday. singers on here from birthday the choir. For both of you. Yes. Hi. All right. Good yeah. to see Bye. you. Well, have a great you. visit with your parents. Thanks. Bye. 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 See you Sunday. <laughs>